tutorial on this simple and full makeup look um very affordable products um a lot of the products that you saw that looked high-end those are probably the only ex more expensive product that i've used in this entire tutorial including skincare when you're thinking about great makeup of course you want to also affect your skin so i definitely wanted to do something that you should see my moisturizing um routine as far as that, but just simple eye oil and cream for my face. Um, I also wanted to make sure that I used clean products such as you want to make sure that your beauty blenders are always clean when you use them because you're applying them on clean face. You don't want to apply dirty on top of clean. It's just a piece of whole purpose. So, and then I also included my bun tutorial because I get a lot of questions on how I do my scar buns and things of that nature. So yeah, oh, got my ear in there. Wait a minute, girl. <laughs> so I'm going to wrap this on up because a sister got to go to work. So clearly you see my why information right up in here. Yeah, you guys, I got to go. I'm like, shh, almost late. Bye. All right, you guys. So we're going to start off with some clean fingers. I washed my hands already. I'm just wiping them down with some wipes. Then we're going to start with our moisturizing underneath the eyes. I use this 24-7 Nourishing Concentration Eye Cream. I got it from TJ Maxx. It is bomb. Love it. And then we're going to move on to our face cream. I love this Ultra Glow Fade Cream because being light skinned, you get a lot of dark marks and that is really in the way. So I'm constantly trying to consistently remove them and at least fade them. So this cream not only nourishes my skin, but keeps my skin feeling really soft. So then I'm going to go in with primer. I use the Maybelline Poreless Eraser for those major pores. Yes. And I use a dime size amount. Put those on the major areas that I, my pores seem to say, hello. Ain't nobody got time for that. We're going to moisturize that right on in. So, yes, I do have a lot of fun. Ba, 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 ba. Now, let's move on to the eyebrows. I do my eyebrows first. This is the only expensive product in this tutorial. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade, as well as the Brow Wiz Pen. I'm just only using the spoolie part for the pen. But this pomade is bomb. I put a little bit on the back of my hand because sometimes when I dip into it, my hands be playing too many games and be dipping a whole lot. But I just fill out my eyebrow line. I do not go over. Sometimes I may, but dealing with your eyebrows, they are sisters, not twins. Think of them as fraternal twins. For real, for real. They're pretty cool. But all in the meantime, I was asked a long time ago, do I use a stencil? No, darling. I do not use a stencil. I use the stencil of my eyebrows. So I go on over to my left hand because my left hand never knows what my right hand doing. And once again, I'm constantly jamming. Jam it, girl. Fill it in, fill it in, fill it in, fill it in. Alrighty, and once I finish that, I just shade it in in the front, not too much. I start off on my tailbone because I like it to fade up into lighter motions, if that makes any sense. I'm taking this powder from the Ruby Kisses 3D Contour Palette, just in the auburn color, as well as the dark brown and that light brown, if that makes any sense, and just filling it in with some powder, kind of setting that powder, that pomade rather. So I am going to, after I finish my eyebrows, I'm going to start color correcting on my face. And I use the LA Pro Girl Concealer in the color Fawn because it's the closest to my shade. I just put it on spots where I know that I have a lot of discoloration. And I'm so running out, girl. A girl is cheap sometimes. I'm not even going to lie. I'll be trying to use every last little bit. So as while I... Let that sit for a little while and get tacky. I'm going to start cleaning up under my eyebrows because them things looking like boy eyebrows right now. So I want to get a sharp line so I can get that fresh come out the shop eyebrows. You know what I'm saying? I do not get my eyebrows waxed because when I was 16 and I got them done, I was walking around looking surprised all day. So this is the way to just not get that surprise look, but get that happy glue look. 
yeah but of course if you want a detailed tutorial on my eyebrows please comment in the comments box below and let me know so I'm going to start um, blending this right on out it's a little bit tackier now so I know that when I do apply my foundation it will not start moving it will keep covering up those spots that I wanted to cover and yes I sing and I dance but who doesn't okay yeah I was really in it okay moving on so I'm using this medium beige for my eye primer I apply this on the lids of my eyes and I just move it out around my eyeball because sometimes this is the best primer for me to not not trying to be funny but this is by LA Pro Girl and I just went ahead and set this also with that same contour kit by the Ruby Kisses 3D with just this lighter shade just to set it so that way that my eyeshadows can blend a lot easier I'm then, oh, never mind. So we are going to start moving on to the eyes. So I'm using a nod by Carrie D Cosmetics. Please look in the description below for the items listed that I will be using. I'm going to use this as my transition shade. I'm going to apply this both to both of my eyeballs. The camera is definitely not doing it justice. This color absolutely is my favorite transition color ever. And then we're going to move on to Coastal Scents Oktoberfest. This is kind of like a orangish brown, but it kind of makes, kind of defeats the purpose because some browns look a little orange. But this bad boy right here just gives me a natural shading. Um, I really like it because I can use this color with absolutely anything that I do. But that this color on top of Enod just pops for me. It gives me a very simple, fresh not too much of a makeup look because that's not that's what I'm going for but it's still covering in my fall then I'm going to go in with Coco Bear by Makeup Geek with this Claire's brush I don't even know what the name of this brush is to be quite honest with you but I go in just to deepen up my crease just a little bit I don't want to go too hard in the makeup I just want it to look like it's natural and that's the purpose of this makeup look is to look very natural but also affordable at the same time I promise you these eyeshadows are like six bucks my coastal sense was like four so let's get with it then I'm just gonna use this shading brush by elf is elf it's a blending brush and I'll just blend that right on out then I'm gonna take this Bella Cappuccino by Milani yo in the way <laughs> I'm going to take this shade and I'm going to put it right on the lid of my eye. I don't I didn't want my lid to be too bright, but I all I kind of wanted it just to be like the same shade as my eye color. And that's exactly what this gave me because I wanted it once again to be very natural but also very effective at the same time. I didn't want to look like I had makeup on my eyes. I really didn't. So I just wanted to keep it very clean as the skin tone because this color is more so of my skin tone. So I just pop that right on my and on my lid and blend it right on out. So we're going to take that blending brush and just blend it. And, you know, blending is key. I went in back. I didn't put any more product on the brushes that I used. I just kind of used the same brushes with those same products. So it's just trying to deepen it up just a little bit, not too much. And then we're going to start moving on to the face. I'm using the Stick Foundation by Maybelline Fit Me in the color 330 Toffee. This right now is catching up with my shade because it's starting to get cooler yes I'm light skin I cannot help that even though I claim to want to be brown skin you know kudos to the brown skin girls but we're going to blend this right on out with my beauty blender sponge blend 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 blend, blend. Like then I'm going to go in with concealer. I know I'm using this concealer like it's nobody's business, but this is my holy grail. And that was just the medium beige, the same color that we applied on that lid. We're going to apply this right on my under eyes to highlight. I like a little highlight because it just adds some type of definition to my face. With my Maybelline 
um, fit me stick. I can't remember the color, but the color will be in the description box below. So I'm going right back in here with that. And I'm also going to add just a little bit to my nose. So when I contour, contour and chisel that nose, it will be on. So I'm going in with my Ben Nye Banana Powder and I'm going to set the concealer under my eye because ain't nobody got time for no creasing. It's already winter. Ain't nobody trying to have no chapped under eyes. It's the walk around with chapped lips. I'm not about to have no chapped under eyes. So I'm going to set that and let that bake for a little bit. I'm going back in with that contour palette and I'm going to chisel these cheeks. You guys, I am a fan of contouring. When I found out about contouring, baby, you could not get me to stop. I swear. I swear, Lucy. I swear. So I'm going to go in right in my cheekbone area and also on my forehead due to the fact of my facial structure. That is very important. Some people like to contour but don't know where to contour. I say look like a fish and play it like this. So this is my natural contour line. I like to also place it under my chin bone area because it brings more definition to my face. So I'm going to take the Ben Nye Banana Powder, what's left in that little palette thing that I made and just to find that contour a little bit more the contour wasn't enough for me so I went in with my cover girl bronzer and just um deepen up that contour because it wasn't doing me enough justice now I'm going to go into blush oh Milani romantic rose baby you be coming through I'm taking this eco stylist tool um I, they call it the bronzing brush, but I think it's just a regular buffering brush, whatever. But I use it to put on my um, my blood. <laughs> then we're going in with my Precious Petal Mega Glow Highlighter, y'all. I'm a fan of highlighting as well because the shorty is going to glow. The glow up got to be real. If you're going to be simple, at least let the glow up be real. So I glows for the gold. Then we're going to take this simple brush. I can't remember where I got this brush, but we're going to blend absolutely everything together. So we're going to blend, blend, blend. Let it be all in one piece. And back to this nose because I had to snatch this nose a little bit. So we're going to define this nose with that same contour palette. That contour palette been coming through all day today. And we're going to chisel this nose. Yeah. Ooh. Do you see that simple look? It just looks so cool. So we're going to set this. We are all done. I set this with my elf spray as well as my wet and wild evaporating spray. Why? Because they are dupes of the MAC Prime Set and also of the Urban Decay um, spray. Then we're going to do this mascara. Y'all, look. I'm over it because I got some of that mascara on the eye and I was rushing because I had to go to work. <sighs> so I tried to do something like blend it out just a little bit so it wouldn't be so lame because I ain't had time to start over. Oh well, I ain't can no more. Sometimes you have mess ups and makeup, but it's all good because not everybody can walk around looking perfect, but we can still look decent, decent enough. And we're going to line my waterline with this wet and wild nude pencil. I wanted my eyes to be a little bit bigger today. So we're going to do that. Moving on to the lips. I am taking this wet and wild. Um, I can't remember the name of this color. I will have it in the description below. But this is starting to become my go-to. <gasps> You're my go-to. Hey, and I just line my water, my lips. I just basically fill in my lips the whole way around. Then I go in with my M Milani Bahama Beach Brown Lipstick. Y'all, this, I'm telling you, this combination right here is everything. Mwah. Then we're going to move on to my head wrap portion. Okay, so this is exactly what I do. I take a regular old scarf. I have this scarf for years now i think i got it from my grandmother rest her soul and i just pop it right on my head um take the most and twist it as you can see this is more so self-explanatory i kind of may not have to explain this if you're one of those visual learners ha huh. and we're all done i love you all thank you so much for watching ah oh. 
you can def you can catch me on my next video stay tuned i will be posting every tuesday and thursday Mwah. bye Bye.